Chris Harris, and this is the Top Gear Horizon Special. Ah yes, the Stig, our very own UFO, unidentified fast object, the world's least obedient racing driver. Right then, the Lotus Elise, a 90s classic based on the age-old Roadster recipe. Two seats, engine in the middle, rear-wheel drive. Not an ounce of fat. This is what driving is all about. You've got it. The trip has been for as long as possible. But this isn't just any of these. Was there ever any doubt? The Series 1 Elise is, after all, one of the best handling cars Oh, a BMW 1M. Great car. Hang on, that's my BMW 1M. Seriously, not funny. Who gave Stick the keys? Literally just cleaned it. Now it's gonna smell of onions. Oh, the stick. It's electronically restrained to 155 miles an hour, but it could definitely go quicker. Look at the smoke! Please leave me some tread for the drive home, Stiggy. Seriously, come on. Turn left. the last time we leave Stig unattended. Am I the only one who remembers Budapest? Well, this isn't stressful to watch. Not at all. It's a BMW, so of course it's rear-wheel drive. 50-50 weight distribution, too. It's a natural-born drifter. Does 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. My 1M. Stig's way beyond that now. 3 litre straight six, 335 horsepower, two turbos, as much sideways action as you like. Turn left. Best BMWs ever made this, born to be driven by me. Got to admit though, Stig does kind of suit it. At the roundabout, take Almost there now. Oh, what a shame. I was really getting into that. Just park it up now, Steve. Right. And, uh, Back to the actual script now, if you don't mind. This is Top Gear's track tour. It's a tractor, obviously, but with a 5.7 litre Chevy V8 making 500 horsepower. And here comes the Stig again. Farm Stig. Born in a barn, they say. Weaned by pigs. Can plough a field in under six seconds. There's a speed camera on the M68. Rumour has it, it only flashes above 87.2 miles an hour. Our track tour has been officially clocked at 87.2 miles an hour, making it the world's fastest tractor. But I reckon it'll go even faster.
Loads of 54 inch mud tyres, remember? They get a bit squishy through the corners. Nobody needs to get the harvest in that quickly. Here comes the speed camera. Hope they put some film in it. Whoa! Have you ever seen anything like it? That's a new tractor speed record. I called a cab earlier. Local company, Aisha's Taxis. Excellent service. Got me here in no time. Unsurprising, really. I mean, look at what turned up. Hands down, the quickest cab I've ever been in. Which got me thinking, how fast could this thing actually go? So I had a word with Aisha, asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. To Bambara Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi's legs a bit. Although, I might have forgotten to tell her who'd be driving. You've guessed it, the cabbie will always get you to your destination very early, but probably won't be anywhere near where you Lightning are. reactions, quick hands. what I call a cab. No clattery diesel engine here. This has a V12 with over 700... It even has slick tyres for maximum grip on a bone drive train. In 400 yards... Turn left. Turn left. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Turn left. work from the stick there. I'd say we're nicely warmed up for the next bit. So here we are then. In the old days, daredevils used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? Oh, look at that! Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on sand. But that's the challenge here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the Stig. comes in handy. Star ride from the stick there. Mini cab, maximum speed. Next time I need a ride to the airport, I know who I'm calling. And all of this off-road action has given me an idea. <laughs>